pretty day yeah, it was outside. Yes, it was so nice. Temperatures slightly above average. But then now it's all going to change. You know, we're seeing a lot more rain every week because, mm -hmm. you know, El Nino's here, right. but the effects of El Nino, the really strong rains mm -hmm. that we're expecting, probably won't be here for a while. But it's allowing us to see a little bit more moisture here and there, which is. Well, we need we'll it. Take yeah, it. We'll yeah. take it, yeah. right? So as we head into the next 24 hours, things will change. But for now, you'll notice that it's been very quiet here, but we are expecting more clouds to move in. So here's a look outside. I want to show you what it. Oh, look at that. It looks almost like a postcard. It's a live look right now at LAX where we have the sun setting, the pylons lit up in blue. So it's just all around a really nice evening. But again, things changing as we head in the next few hours. So here's a look at what's happening with the satellite radar. Very very clear, very quiet, but we do have a lot of cloud cover just to the north of us, and that's because this system will start to drop and we'll start to see a move in as we head into the overnight period. Temperature wise, today we topped out at 78 degrees. Normally, we should be topping out at 73, and then right now we're still feeling temperatures pretty mild 70 for Riverside, mid 60s for downtown LA and for Santa Ana. And you'll notice that we do have some sea breeze, some onshore push, so that's going to cool us down as we head into the next few hours. Here's that low pressure system by tomorrow morning, just after 10. We start to feel some moisture. We'll start to see some scattered showers here and there throughout the Southland. A better chance to see some moisture, though, as we head into the 9 p.m. hour. And then by Monday night, uh, this system will be out of here. So it swings away, and then a ridge of high pressure starts to set up shop. I'm going to show you what we can expect. With this system, we're expecting very strong winds. We have wind advisories for the high desert communities. High wind warning in effect for areas of the mountains and also the mountains for LA and Ventura County. We could see gusts possibly anywhere from 60 to 70 miles per hour and snow. Snow showers for north facing slopes and even along the grapevine. Snow levels dropping down to about 2,500 feet. That's pretty low by the time we head into Monday. So, one to two inches of snow fall very possible through the grapevine. And then, rain wise, we're not going to see a lot of moisture for LA and Ventura County, maybe a tenth of an inch or less, a little bit more for Orange County and for the IE, a tenth of an inch to about a quarter inch. Here's a look at that future cast. Very quiet up until tomorrow morning. The clouds start to move in a little bit more. We'll start to see some sprinkles, some drizzle being squeezed out. But again, just after 10, we start to see a little bit more of the scattered showers. By 1230, a lot more of the moisture activity up in the mountains. And you can see right along the 5 freeway. And then it starts to push out to the east by tomorrow afternoon for the, the IE and also the mountains of San Bernardino County. And then take a look at what happens by tomorrow night. That's when the snow levels start to drop and we could see some snow along the grapevine. Then the system pushes out by the time we head into Monday afternoon. Temperature wise, much cooler tomorrow all around. Today we were slightly above average. Tomorrow we're going to be below average at least by 10 degrees. So mid 60s across the board for the San Fernando Valley, for the LA Basin for areas like Irvine and Orange County, and then for the IE, mid to low 60s. Again, temperature-wise, much cooler for the next couple of days before another warming trend on tap by the end of the week. Back to you. All right, thanks, Amber.